Hey, what's going on everyone? Good morning from Almedo. So as promised guys, today I'm going to show you this beautiful little town. Man, I can't get enough of this place, honestly. I'm going to take you down to the beach, that's Almedo Beach. And then we'll head on over to Karang Karang Beach. That's the launch area for the boat trips. The one that I did, the A, B, C and D. And then we'll head on over to Kalan Beach. So all you gotta do guys is sit back, relax and enjoy this beautiful scenery. Let's go. Nido Beach, guys. What a beautiful beach. Absolutely stunning, man. You gotta make your way out here. It's beautiful. There's so much to see. Yes, there's the beaches, there's the market. Wanna make your way over to the other side? I see that there's a path over there that maybe takes you to another beach on the other side. So I'm uh, quite curious to see what's on that side. Alnito Beach. Right, so I see a lot of motorcycles on this path. So uh, I imagine that this is probably a path not necessarily for walking, but for motorcycles.
gotta pick up some lunch, guys. So I'm gonna keep it simple, man. Uh, I'm just gonna go for the uh, cheeseburger. So there's 80 pesos. And I'm going for a water bottle of 40 pesos. Nice, cozy little spot, guys. Yeah. So it's going down right now. Uh, so this is cemetery, guys. It looks like it's very private. There's a through way to the beach. I'm just gonna make it to the end of that road and see what else happens. Uh, I've seen quite a few paths going to the beach, but I'm not sure if it's private, so I didn't want to risk it. See, these are beach resorts. I'm not sure if I can enter. Let's do it. Food. It looked deserted. That's where I started. So that is uh, El Nido Beach on the other side. You can see with all the boats. This is Kalan Beach. But as I said, some of these resorts seem a bit deserted. And then there are some that are in use as well. Definitely some that's in use. There's some people out here. There we go. Some friendly faces waving. Alright. That gives us hope. Nice hotel on the beach. I don't think I'll do that swim today. I'll be here for a few more days. Well, I'm not gonna do the swim here at least. I think I'll just be making my way back, get back to El Nido Beach, and try and uh, get my booking for my motorbike for tomorrow. Let's get back on the road. Guys, I can only imagine that these deserted uh, beach resorts are probably a result of the pandemic. I'm sure that all these places were flourishing before and obviously now with the pandemic they all had to close, they couldn't accept any any um, visitors. I know of people that were stuck in the Philippines but they couldn't go to any of the resorts during the pandemic so they had to find other accommodation like Airbnbs and so forth. So I think that the pandemic really killed the business out here. And it's really sad because obviously the owners couldn't afford the rent or they couldn't afford the upkeep, so they had to close. And some of those places look like they're in prime spots, but they're just deserted. There's nothing happening. And countries like these and Thailand, uh, I'm just mentioning two, but those are countries that's really dependent on 
uh, the foreign influx, the visitors, and the foreign exchange. So they really thrive on tourism. And if that is taken away from them, then the country suffers as well. And if the country suffers, the people suffer.